Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering what I'm doing on the side of the highway with an overheating van. Or, if you've seen any of my videos before, you're not wondering at all. Either way, let's start from the beginning. Just made it to Springer, New Mexico. We have about an hour left in the drive. Just made it to the Forest Service Road and we we're gonna find a campsite. Uh, there was two trailers down at the bottom. Uh, the first site we saw had actually three trailers, two, uh, two horse trailers and a, a camping trailer. And then the next had this old like beat up trailer on it. So don't know what's going on there. So we're gonna go up a little bit further. A lot of cows on this road. Just made it into camp, and me and Taylor were talking about if we wanted to stay at that site or try and find a different one. And uh, Grayson just starts puking all over the van. So now there's a bunch of bright orange ice cream snack throw up everywhere. So I uh, emptied the two water bottles of drinking water into our uh, drinking water jug and I'm walking down to the creek to get some dirty water to wash off things that are covered in puke. And it's getting late. I still gotta go back and like level the van out a little bit um, and then figure out what we can eat. So, not a great start. All right, we're leaving the campsite now. We stayed at a, a dispersed camping site off of Forest Service Road number five. It was just west of Angel Fire, probably 25 minutes or so. We drove up and down the whole road and it actually was pretty busy. There's probably about 15 campers on the whole road, but we were able to find a pretty good spot um, away from most people. So right now we're just packing up and we're going to head out to uh, Taos to meet up with some friends. Just made it into Taos. We are going to head over, meet up with everyone else, and eat some food. Right, dude? Just stopped by some hot springs just out of town. We were kind of hoping we'd be able to camp out by them, but uh, there's some posted signs saying no camping. 
So we just turned around, it's getting kind of late, and we are headed back up to the old Reliable. Uh, going to the Cibola campground again. It's about 20 minutes away, and uh, there's always room for campers there, so we'll be able to go there and relax and let Grayson run around. And then tomorrow morning, I think we might come back here, do a little swimming. But, yeah, pretty bumpy road. Nice. Well, we made it out to the uh, Cibola campground. We unfortunately were too late to get our favorite spot, so we took the one right next to it. <laughs> but we've just been hanging out for the last hour or two and uh, setting up camp. Grayson's been running around, riding his bike, throwing rocks, and the sun's about going down right now, I think. There's quite a bit of cloud cover in the way, so we can't really see much today. But still, pretty darn good view. o'clock now we're leaving camp we just threw everything in the van didn't break down any beds and uh, we're hopping on the road so we can go get some breakfast and then we'll uh, deal with all this mess later We are making our way down to the uh, like Vista Verde Trail, and it's a pretty steep little dirt road. And uh, our friends behind us are in like little uh, compact SUVs, so I'm sure they're having a blast. <laughs> the van again is eating this stuff up. Made it back to the John Dunn Bridge. We uh, are doing some swimming with the kiddos. Water is surprisingly not incredibly cold, but uh, pretty swimmable. <laughs> Today we're camping out in a very remote place. Uh, it's the parking lot of our friend's Airbnb. Uh, surprisingly, it's actually got some pretty legit views. So I got the pop top up, I got Grayson's bed all set up, and we are gonna get him ready for bed, put him in there with the monitor on, and I think we're gonna go hang out inside. Maybe just left the Airbnb, headed back down to Taos, and now we're gonna go downtown and uh, get some coffee, 
let Grayson play in a little kid's shop. And uh, then after all that, we're headed down to Albuquerque. <laughs> We are headed home. Last night we stayed in an Airbnb over in Sandia Park. It's uh, right on the back side of the Sandia Peak. And uh, super pretty Airbnb, great views out of it. And today we are headed home. It's about an eight hour drive from here. And it looks like it's gonna be about 101 degrees. It's gonna suck. This is gonna be not a fun drive without air conditioning. Uh, on the bright side, I'm dropping it off at the shop to get air conditioning tomorrow. Oh, so, there you go. yeah, you it'll be. Do that before we left on the long trip. It'll be real cold for uh, the rest of the fall. <laughs> Looks like the heater hose got a nick in it, so it is just dumping out all the coolant and causing this thing to steam, get a bunch of bubbles in it. So, gotta figure out a way to repair that nick uh, and maybe at least get to a parts store somewhere. So, gonna see what I got and get to work. We got up to like 235 degrees. And I'm sure the motor did not enjoy any of that, but uh, oil looks fine, so I didn't blow ahead gasket um, yet, I guess. Uh, the plan to fix it is kind of ghetto. So I have a tire repair kit, a random rubber lined hose clamp, and some tape. So the plan is I'm gonna take some of this plastic and the rubber cement and just glue it on there, wrap it around. Then take the tape and really compress it around. And then take the clamp and clamp it down. Forget all that stupid nerd stuff I was saying. I just cut the piece off and uh, rerouted the hose so it would reach. And now we are refilling the system and then we can pack and go. Turns out that the hose was rubbing on the CV axle and uh, it had just poked through this morning, I guess. So it was weird. It was running like cool all morning. Uh, and then I shut it off, turned it back on and it was hot. So I don't know, I guess those bubbles just built up and, and they didn't like it. Okay, back on the road. Hopefully that fix worked and we don't break down in uh, another mile. So, we'll find out. Pulled out my thermostat. It was open slightly, 
when I got it out um, and I don't know I think I'm just gonna gut the entire thing and see if that does anything it's a little bit worrisome that it was open a little bit and there was still air in that line um, like this thing is bone dry on the outside right now so god I hope if I just take this thing out it'll be all right Guess we'll see. All right, we just got home. It's like almost 10 o'clock. We took a lot of stops and stopped for food a few times, so that and the breakdown uh, cost us probably four hours of driving time. So that's why it's so late. We were supposed to be here at like six, um, but it is not six anymore. So the van is a absolute nightmare, but we ended up making it home. So that's another successful trip. It was pretty stressful at times, but well worth the drive. And uh, it was fun hanging out with everybody don't know what the next trip is, but we do have a lot of maintenance to do on the van. So next episode is probably going to be doing all that maintenance.